folks, there's a time right down there, and this is fresh. You can see bing, 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 right in row, right? This is what's causing the volcanoes to get their ass kicked, okay? Um, fracking is not causing earthquakes, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Bing, bing, bing in a row. And then we're going to take you and show you what's going to happen later on when this keeps rising up from below in Antarctica, okay? We've been seeing it at Nehemiah Station. I can show you photos. I think I'm going to be able to pull up what I got from NASA. They are, and I'll also take you to this shot in a minute. This thing comes, all this action comes up out of the supergiants, folks. This stuff is radioactive, uh, very intense, hot light that we get from outer space, okay? The solar suits that you've seen on those shots, although if you've been down to Myanmar a long time with the gauges, it was on purpose, and that's why they don't stand out there when this stuff comes around. There is radioactivity in space, ladies and gentlemen. You've always known it. That's why those planets blink red, blue, greenish, yellow, or whatever colors they blink way off in space, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And then also, not to freak you out, but within the last week, and actually less than a week, okay, see how that fires in a row right there? Bam, bam, bam. It's the latest quakes. Now I'm going to take you and draw the cord down, and you're going to see everything that's been going on in the United States. And the footprints. And I'm telling you that they've knocked a mag down on all the readings, because look at the 4.0 that shows up in America, right there. 4.0, okay, that was in the United States. Up there in Ohio, I believe, okay? Big footprint, okay? So, they felt it all over our east, okay? People are scared shitless. They're keeping their mouths shut because everybody's a scared pussy. Okay? This stuff's actually happened. What I'm going to show you is this bing, 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 bing. You get that action right there. We'll take you down. This is the most recent. Bing, 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 bing. Those quakes right there. Okay? This object's going to come up, keep coming up. Okay? It's already risen down there because it's the sun is coming up down there. It's 5 o'clock UTC right down there. So, yeah, 540. Okay? The sun's up down there in southeast Antarctica which is basically direct right here, Southeast Antarctica, okay? Actually, Southeast Antarctica, the sun is right over here, about right now. Somewhere over here, coming down, coming up. And we rotate to the east like that, we rotate like that, okay? So the sun, is, this has been coming up, and this stuff's been in the supergiants, and that stuff comes up earlier because this all comes up. All this sun action here from the supergiants, Proxima Centauri, Rigel Cantaris B, Rigel Cantaris A and other stars of the supergiants, this stuff comes up at like 9.40 in the evening and on through to 3 or 4 in the morning, okay? So then we go to the footage that we're going to show you in this video, which there's been a lot of them, and I can show you other ones, okay? But we are going to see all this tetrahydrin. See all these terahydrins coming off, the light being illuminated off the supergiants, off all these planets that rise and set. They're all over the volcano, getting reflected from outer space, okay? Those are not spaceships. It's all planets coming in and going out, and as you see that object there. And I should be able to get some photos tonight. You'll see that pop in and pop out, and they reflect. It's not lasers. I've actually got it straight out to some other photos I did took last night. It's all triangulation, okay? It's all these Vs and these triangulations out in space getting all that super giant light along with our sun, but our sun is way smaller. There's super giant suns, a hundred of them, that are four to seven eight times the brightness and all this stuff. All these planets are getting it, illuminating it, and flickering, flickering, banging. It's like a bunch of mirrors and a bunch of magnifying glasses. And there you go. There's the most dramatic. You always end up seeing it on this side. And when it's early in the morning, five o'clock in the morning when this stuff comes around on the clock that they have there in, J in Japan, See how this stuff blinks in and blinks out? It's all planets getting reflections. Bam, bam, bam. Now, I've got to get some photos of that there because I was seeing that earlier. i got to freeze that. That's where the electrical from light illumination from one planet to the next. See that popping in, popping out? Bam, bam, bam. There on those planets. This is all planets, folks. It's not UFOs, okay? They're all known objects in space. And all the scientists are amazed now, because now you may have been able to freeze that there as that came in on that volcano action hit, because I did a bunch of freezing and blowing up the shots last night, okay? Now, I believe this is the one that happened on the 5th, so this is pretty damn fresh. This happened today, but see, once it's up for a while, yeah, the 7th, 
what, yeah. Because it's a 6 right now. Oh, okay, so maybe this is even a fresher one. Or they got the date wrong on the damn ticker. Okay. So they're saying it's the 7th, so it's been the 7th for about 4 or 5 hours or whatever, so. But the sun wasn't up. So that's being shown that the supergiant sun is actually brighter, if this can be trusted, is at the, right, at the right time and so forth and so on. Okay. And it's saying that it's 4.47 in the morning. So it is probably the supergiants. And that's how, how bright this stuff is. It's not nighttime, folks. Because it's not nighttime. Because the stuff in the supergiants, Rigel, Kent, Proximi, Centauri, Rigel, Kent, Cantaurus, B and A, and all this stuff is that damn bright. And that's why you see the planets. It's not infrared nighttime, early AM, and you can see it's early in the morning still on the shots, okay? On this side of the mountain, it shows a little bit more. This is more than likely. I wonder if this is the east shot. If this, if this would be the, well, if it could be the west, it doesn't really matter. That is sun glow, folks. It's not the volcano on fire, okay? That is from the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not sure if they've got a whole list of sort of that should be all just natural smoke. We have seen him screw around with Dutch's videos. I try to get this as fast as I can, so I'll be able to get this, and then should be able to upload on this one. And that's what I'm worried about too—that they're going to end up screwing around. And, but I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. It's just, but all this stuff is here; it gets illuminated. It's, it's dark on that side because of the smoke from the volcano, and also you got to be able to trust these tickers. This is webcams, okay? So it's not the sun. 448.17. There you go. Live webcam. Because it's the sixth year and it'll be the seventh. It's already the seventh over there. The timeline, international timeline. Remember how it changed? One whole day was lost over in Samoa. Check all that triangulation action with all those planets right there. Okay. I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little bit more since this is playing pretty good. I'm going to zoom in. And the idea that they they have figured out that uh, now the NASA when you got a NASA footage on this one, there's going to be an uh, object like 287 or something like that. It's a star. Chile satellites have been looking at it. It spins around 300 times the sun, way out, way out. It's like 90 trillion miles away or something like that. But it spins 300 times faster than the sun, ladies and gentlemen. And a lot of these planets up here in these constellations that you see. In this in front of these supergiants get illuminated at four in the morning over there, and the sun's not up yet. Okay, and then it's a combination of the sunlight hitting over the atmosphere, and then these planets rising and setting and twisting around as they do, as you see right there. These are not see that D action. These are all planets way the hell out in space, reflecting light down, light energy down on that volcano. And you can see the energy and the light energy get reflected to it, okay? And then there's more of them up there behind the time clocks and so forth. Move over here. It's about time, but I don't want to mess with the zoom. There you go, there's more of them. Basically the same ones on the other side of the mountain. See them doing their D action. Can't miss it right and left of this numbers here. Right there. Over there. You see that? That's how fast these objects move out there. Like I say, they found that 287 and they know that it spins 300 times faster than the sun does. Okay? So basically, it's a flash strobe. And a lot of planets that are between here and the supergiants in that early morning do that. 
So I'm just going to sit here and watch this. And you see, you see in the clock. Now there's no clock on this one in that, in that corner shop. But I'll get down here and show you the clock so you know that I haven't taken off, been away from anything. It's right there. Okay. Five locams in Japan. All this action ends up making a quake hit. I mean, get a volcano hit the same thing, just hitting the mountain, making a volcano go kablooey. Radioactivity. Terahydrin and tetrahydrin. This is down to a scientific proven fact now. This is action going on. These are planets way the hell out in space. Doing their fast movements. It's like all the stuff that you keep seeing move fast around the sun when you see the play through the features. And then you pop out so you realize that all this is actually going on. These are all planets, folks. It's just, I gotta stick here for a second because it's just amazing. Moving in and out. I think I might have missed with the player on that shot there, so let's get down. I see you've been watching. And yeah, the player quit because I hit it or something. Let's go, let's hit it. So there you go. Proof indefinitely that it's all planets' actions that are doing this stuff. It's not UFOs, okay? So everybody can quit freaking out. Actual planets out in space, ladies and gentlemen. There's the address for the darn thing and everything, too. This is a good one. So if they mess with this footage, then you know that they're blocking actual scientific knowledge of this actually going on, folks. So I can just give you a 400 and let me stop the recording and zoom it in to a thousand. Okay, here's these planets at a thousand, folks, and you just can't miss it. It is just dramatic as hell. This is scientific proof the supergiants are out there. It's four something in the morning. The sun's not up yet. It's coming up. But as you see the one side of the mountain earlier in the video, that's, I just got to keep watching these planets. They just pop in, popping out. Check all these planets popping in, popping out. We know that triangulation. It's going to be crossed that we always see. So that's a constellation there, folks. That cross constellation, that's where all of them, there you go. Whammo. That cross constellation, you've got to look that constellation up. That's the one up by the supergiants when it's in gets in front of the supergiant's glow. Bam oh, we get an earthquake. I mean we get volcanoes in earthquake. Check that out. That's what all the scientific proof that over way over through the years, there you go. Sorry about the volcano, not very but it's it's the and then basically there's other stars that are down here that are moving around and you can see it glowing down onto the and some of it is also Earth. Uh, volcano material, I keep saying earthquake, volcano material. So we got these objects up here, and then, oh my god, wow, check that out. They just pop in and pop out. He needs way back, they didn't have telescopes, they knew this stuff happened, it happens, it happens. Through evolution, and then see it looks like a V and a bird sometimes, these planets, bam. And that's so they has got moons or something around that planet, whichever that one is, the constellation. We know it's that cross constellation, okay? So and there's lots of cross constellations, but at that time in the morning on the 7th, we can nail it down to seeing what constellation that's coming in there and doing all that action. And then there it goes up and the smoke from the volcano and covers the planet up. And that is not no shit, folks. Those are planets. Those are not flipping UFOs. Lights being triangulated, reflected, bam, bam, bam. There's more triangulation from the supergiants. I'm moving away from this cloud now because we're at a thousand. Or it's, I'm not going to say what I'm at just to get this video down so that you can see all this. So check that action out. That's more planets there doing this triangulation stuff. So I don't know when we're going to end up not video on here, but this should be coming through okay, because I got it on full screen to be able to get through this. So you realize all this stuff's out there. These are all planets doing their action, folks. So we've been seeing it. Everybody's been wondering what the hell is it. Everybody's wondering, you know, give us an answer. Well, I've known for a long time, but now I can just get a dead-on exact. I guess the PSYOPs have quit playing with this for right now, anyway. 
but we got lucky on this one. This one wasn't as dramatic, more dramatic action.